John, the another session completed tonight. Head, looking forward to Sunday's game against Halifax. Before we head into that one, you'll have had a chance to review the the battle game. Obviously, we spoke post match. You've looked into it. What, what's your what's your feelings on that one? Yeah, just same as what I said on Sunday. Really, Jordan, it was evident that like when we finished our set well in the right areas and defend on the back of it. We sort of we were, we were in the game, but when we when we cough the ball up or we give a penalty away and invite it back in lower twenty, I thought both the half kicking game was good and well very good, and the pin was down with that, and that was the difference in the game really that their their field position when they maybe shouldn't have been there, and what they done in that field position, I thought the halves were really good. Second hit out though, especially happy with continuing his only a second hit out. Yeah, it was that. Believe it or not, that's the first time we've been on grass this year. Regarding we, we had one session early on, and then we've been on all weather training pitches. We played witness on all weather. So even though I've said about the lads being really fit, which they are, and they've proved it in the in the test results, it was just a case of even the field the field held up really well. But it's the first time they've been on somewhere where they're sinking a bit and. They, just, they felt good in the lungs, but the legs were a bit heavy. But that was no excuse to what happened in the game. Don't it wasn't. It was just a, a, a reflection on how we've been training, really. So looking forward to obviously Sunday. Um, a slight look back to Sunday gone. What's the sort of squad looking about? Obviously, Connor Holiday limped off on on, on Sunday, and, and we didn't see him return. He, he didn't look good for Connor. What, what's the latest? Yeah, Connor's done his MCL a bit, slight strain, so it's anywhere from four to six weeks for Connor. I think he may be back, depending on how his rehab goes, and he may be get back in two or three weeks doing some some rehab with the physio running rehab. So, well, just that's that's just one we're going to, have to keep an eye on. So, like I say, looking forward to Sunday now. Uh, obviously, Halifax away. Picked up a real good dusting down there last season, as, we, as we've mentioned before, and um, the game up here, especially in the second half, they've done a, a real job on us. So, obviously, lots changed since then. Obviously, squad-wise for both themselves and, and ourselves, but it's a good test going to have been against a, a well-established championship side, and, and same way your side are. Yeah, of course it is, and like you said last week, Joe, I mean, to compete, and I think we, obviously we do against Widnes and. We had a good game against Barrett at the weekend that was competitive. I mean, it'd be competitive again at the weekend against Halifax. And, and the things that we got wrong against Barrett, inviting teams in and, and penalties and and maybe errors when we should be f f completing sets. Now we finished our sets, you know what I mean? That was the, that was a big difference there. Our finished well, our half maybe could have done a little bit better. So that's what we'll be working on. Is that the sort of stuff that just comes with sort of game time, though? Yeah, of course it is. I yeah. Obviously, it isn't being ideal weather and the set, like the conditions for for doing a lot of excess for our halves and stuff regarding the short kicking games. But they, they have been this week, and then they'll, they'll carry on to do that. And we need we need to work on that. We need to work on a lot of things. We worked on a, quite a bit of day on Tuesday. It was a, we had a decent session on Tuesday. To be fair, tonight wasn't that great, but. We, we had a good session on Tuesday, fixing a few things up a day around the market and about being aggressive in, in, in the opposition's 20, 30. So, yeah, it's been a decent week. Obviously, a couple of lads were missing last week. I think Jack Mears or Noah McCadden spent the mind. Obviously, they'd been ill through the week. Um, obviously, you'll be expecting to hope, obviously welcome them back in. As you mentioned, this is always an extended pre-season for yourself. So sure, should we expect to see a few changes? Well, there's two lads, them two lads who didn't play. I think they've been tag team with two other lads because they've got it now. So, uh, Evan Lawford hasn't trained this week and uh, Will Evans hasn't trained this week. They've they've got the leg of the on antibiotics. So, I would imagine we'll see Mays on McCann, but we'll miss out on Will and uh, and Evan. I thought, and to be fair to Evan, I thought Evan was one of our best. I think we could have uh, some, somebody with a bit of potential there, a bit on top potential. I thought he was some, run some really good lines. He was strong carry and he, he put a good couple of region on D as well, so he set the break up for Jake Carter to start the second half, so Evan won't be playing this week, uh, like I say, he's been ill, he isn't trained, so that, that's what that is. Uh. And obviously if you do get through on, on Sunday, you know who you're going to be playing already, you're going to be playing one of the Southern Conference sides, either Hammersmith or West, I imagine obviously you probably don't know too much about them but you'll be keeping an eye on the result and also if you do get through it's another it's another guaranteed home game as well yeah that's 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 the carrot for for sunday isn't it a good performance from either side and, and i'm joining the next round as long as on they're not, they're not a given but you've got a better chance to get into that a bigger draw in the following round if you do get through them amateur teams so that's always at the back of mind john but obviously we've got to concentrate on sunday first and since we last spoke, it's been announced the rearrangement of the Ike Salford Memorial Trophy. Um, obviously, it was initially postponed due 
due to the stormy conditions, is it a fixture? Obviously, I know how much it means to yourself and the family, but in terms of your preparation, obviously, there's a potential there if you didn't get through on Sunday, four weeks without the game. Has it, has it fallen quite well? Yeah, it has, actually. As soon as we, were, we got beat on, on Sunday, that means bad has gone through and doesn't work it. And I'll have a free weekend on the 3rd of... Uh, no, uh, is it the 3rd? 3rd of March. 3rd of March, yes. Yeah. So uh, we could have possibly played it on the... Depending on what happens this week, but obviously... We need we need plenty of time to arrange it. Actually, so the third was the next eight day ninety five round, so it, it made sense getting another game in and, and getting eight playing for the eight really, and hopefully keep, keeping it. I say obviously, you meant hopefully keeping it. Um, obviously, you'll be two weeks away from your league season at that point. Is it a game to see? Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do there. Or is it? I might be going with my strongest seventeen. Depending on injuries and illness, I would mean Kate is just at a crack there. That that probably will be. Somewhere in the uh, mass 17 that I want to start with against Swinton. People maybe put their hands up this week, you know what I mean, or the following week at working. But that last game before the Swinton game, yeah, I will be looking to look, play most of the people who should be playing against Swinton. And we always mention sort of about the squad. Obviously, I know you saw, you're, you're happy with what you, you fetched in, but going into that league season, anything further you'd want to do? Are you, are you happy with where you are? Yeah, obviously. But I, I do. I, I am on the, on the lookout for obviously the meeting with the board there, and we, we're talking about players. And I, I do want to fetch more in. More could only be one, but I'll be happy with that. You know what I mean? And, and then we'll have to see what. Hopefully, if we stay injury free, this the squad is good enough to to compete. If we're not injury free, that's when we'll need time.